Yours was a love from a friendship caught fire. And here we are today. You have reached the next step. Life has prepared you for this defining moment and you'll find a way, the way that works for you, one on which you can grow old together because the best is yet to be. Remember today, for it is the beginning of always, a promise of hope for the future, a belief in each other and the certainty of love. For two will always be stronger than one and love will always be the guiding force in your lives. For today is mere formality, only an announcement to the world of the feelings long held, promises already made in the sacred spaces of your hearts. I'm sitting right here to see can you make it up here and set my mind at ease? People always have said that when you look for your partner in life, it should be someone that you look up to, someone you admire someone that makes you a better person, and that's what Hunter found when she met me. So, I think it says a lot about our friendship when two friends go through challenges like being apart from one another. It's hard being far apart, and it's human nature to have a fear of being forgotten or being replaced, and Hunter, I assure you, I will always have a special place for you in my heart, and now for Gabe. You've made such an impact on me, Hunter, and you've changed my life without even trying. You're the reason I was always grounded, the reason I got a C in gym class, but most importantly, you are the reason I have a best friend and a soul sister. When you realize you want to spend the rest of your life with someone, you want the rest of your life to start as soon as possible. So cheers to Hunter and Gabe and the rest of their lives together. The first time I ever met Gabe, Gabe and I had met in law school, I'll never forget the first thing he said to me. Our teachers gave us a research assignment and they said under no circumstances are you allowed to collaborate. This would be a violation of the academic integrity code and if we found out about it, you're going to be in trouble. Ten seconds later, Gabe said, hey, you want to work together on this? I'm like, all right, yes I do. So from then on out, we've practically been inseparable. But that's not my favorite story of Gabe in law school. We had a class called Business Organizations. About two days before the final, Gabe says, uh, hey, you wanna go to Sevierville and risk go-karts? And I'm like, yes, I do. So that was a Saturday. Sunday, I get this call about 2.30. He said, Alex, oh my God. I'm like, what happened? He said, did you know the exam's Monday? I said, yes. He said, I didn't know that. It's like, I don't know what's worse, the fact that we haven't studied for this or the fact that you didn't even know what day it was. And then we beat 80% of our class, so it actually works out pretty good. Gabe Stapleton is probably one of the most driven individuals that I know. He truly meets every challenge that he faces with grit, determination, and he has the cunning wit and swagger of Mark Stapleton, and he has got the heart and compassion of Denise. And that is truly one of the best things that you all could have ever given him. And those qualities not only are going to make him a kick-ass attorney, but it is an absolute privilege to be your friend. Choosing a life partner is not something that you should rush into. It's something that you sit back and reflect. And You know, you don't find someone who you can just live with. You find someone who you can't live without and you two have done that. And I could not be more happier for you two, and we love you guys, so here's to the happy couple. Somebody said you are the last one of your kind. I didn't know you wanted me for all these years. Let's just stay up here. God, creator of all good things, we invite your blessing on this celebration of marriage with Hunter and Gabe. As they pledge their commitment to one another, may you provide them with wisdom and guidance. May you enable them to love deeply, forgive often, 
respect completely and give endlessly of themselves to one another. May you grant them joy and happiness in their journey together. Inasmuch as you have consented to be married before this gathering of family and friends, according to the power vested in me by the great state of Tennessee and being an ordained minister, I now pronounce that you are husband and wife. You're now in your hearts as you've always known yourselves to be. And Gabe, you may kiss your lovely bride. Somebody say